Hi, I wanted to go over a problem you might want run into, uh, and um, the problems I had uh, with that, and um, how I went about solving it. So, for example, let's say you've got an electronic component like a wire, um, and, or uh, any other, uh, you know, uh, wired components like a capacitor or a resistor, and you wanted to uh, solder it to uh, something that's stainless steel, like say, let's say a screw or uh, a nut, something like that. Um, and uh, what we might want to do is, you know, for some reason solder them together. And I want to show you uh, why that doesn't work and how I went about solving it. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, I've got. Um, a stainless steel nut, I've got a piece of electrical wire, and what we'd like to do is solder them together. So just starting from nothing, uh, you know, the normal way you would handle this is, um, you know, we, we place this together, place these together, um, to heat them both up with a soldering iron here, and as they get hot enough, then, uh, then, then I would add some solder, and uh, they would uh, they would bind together. So it turns out this this doesn't actually work very well. So as I said, under normal circumstances, we just uh, heat both of these uh, pieces parts up, and um, and then we just add some solder, and they would uh, come together. Uh, here we go. I mean, the you can see that the nut is hot enough that the solder is melting, but the solder doesn't really bind to it. Uh, I can heat both of these up here. Let's say I was trying to uh, you know solder these together. Now let me heat this up a little bit more. And there we go, so the, the solder is melting onto the uh, wire, and I can, uh, you know, melt it on, but it's not, it's not binding to the nut, as you can see here. Now, let me zoom out, get the, the focus a little better. So, so we have these together, but it's the, they didn't stick together. There's a solution to this. So even, even though I'm using I'm using some pretty standard solder, I'll just show you it right here. This is a 63% uh, tin, 37% lead flux uh, core solder. Um, so it's not like I, you know, I'm missing anything. But what we can do ultimately is get this solder to work if we know uh, what the right tools are. Uh, I actually had to look this up online, and it turns out that there's a specific kind of soldering flux that you can treat stainless steel components with. I bought around a pint of it, and uh, it's it's so I, I'm never really going to run out. So Superior Number 71 uh, stainless steel soldering flux, and this will solve the problem. Let me just pour a little into this mug, and actually you can't. Just leave this out. Uh, that was uh, I made an earlier mistake, and that didn't work out too well. So uh, we'll just pour, I just poured a little in there, just uh, cover it up, cover up the the nut. Okay, let's just put that right back, and um, and now we'll see. Now we'll see how things work, now that it's been pre-treated. My soldering iron here is nice and hot. You're gonna see a little reaction. Uh, this, this, this smells really bad, so I do this in a well-ventilated area, or at least to keep your face out of um, the smoke that's gonna rise out of this. So I've gotta first uh, heat this up, and what I'm gonna do is pre-treat it and kind of coat it with the melted solder before I solder it to this wire. So you can see now that this is, um, now that I've left the soldering iron on it, 
there's there's some oxidation and uh, that eventually once it gets hot enough is going to allow uh, this process to work so put a little solder on it it's not quite binding yet because it's not quite hot enough Eventually we should be at the point where the solder melts onto and sticks to the nut. Uh, we're, we're not quite there yet, as you can see. thing is what we've got here is that you've got a pretty solid bond of the solder uh, to the stainless steel component the nut here and what that now that that's it we've kind of coated it then we can put these two things together uh, the solder is bound to the nut solder is bound to the to the wire and uh, finally these things these two things uh, are are solid enough to come together here and there you go so what couldn't be bound before can be bound now